Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Desserts. Now we all love desserts and Royal Faluda is something that we all love and enjoy and we can make it at home. But the most important ingredient to make the Royal Faluda is the rose syrup. So first we're going to see how to make this nice and delicious rose syrup and using that you can make your own wonderful Royal Faluda. So let's get started and check out these two recipes. To make the rose syrup, take a saucepan and add 2 cups of water. This is a 250 ml cup, so I'm adding 500 ml, that is half liter of water. Next, add 2 cups of sugar. So the ratio is 1 is to 1. So for 1 cup of water, I've taken 1 cup of sugar. Boil it till the sugar is completely dissolved. This will take a few minutes. Now you can see the sugar is completely dissolved. So once the sugar is dissolved, continue to boil it for about 5 minutes on medium flame. After 5 minutes, I'm adding 2 tablespoons of dried rose petals. This is food grade rose petals. I'm adding these to infuse the essence of the rose. If you don't have these, don't worry about it. You can just add rose essence instead. But if you do happen to find food grade rose petals either fresh or dried, you can use them in the rose syrup to infuse flavour. After boiling the rose petals for about 2-3 to three minutes, I am adding 2 drops of the rose colour. Now this is food grade rose colour gel. So this is a bit thick, so I am just adding 2 drops. If you need to add extra drops to get the required colour, you can do so. So as you can see, the syrup is coming together beautifully. It's got this lovely rich rose colour. Turn off the stove and add the essence. Add half teaspoon of rose essence to infuse better flavour and fragrance to the rose syrup. Strain it into another bowl. Cool it completely. Once it comes to room temperature, pour it into a bottle and you can store it in the refrigerator for more than 10 to 15 days. To make the royal faluda, there are several steps for the prep work and the first is to make the jelly. So for this recipe, I am using a store-bought ready-made jelly crystal packet. As per the instructions given in the jelly crystal packet, just follow the instructions and make the jelly. So I have taken a strawberry jelly mix for this recipe. You can use any jelly of your choice. As per instructions given in the jelly mix, follow the directions and prepare the jelly. So in case you want to make the jelly ahead of time, you can also make it the previous day and set it. So it will be easier for you to assemble it. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to set at room temperature. So this has to be done first. Now I'm going to make the rose milk for the faluda. For the rose milk, I've taken half liter of milk and boiled it. Turn off the stove, bring the milk to room temperature. To the milk, add about 2 tablespoons of rose syrup. Now this is a store-bought rose syrup. If you need more, depending on the quantity of milk, you can add more or less. I am also adding 1.5 tablespoons of sugar. Just mix it all together. So I have made the rose milk. Now refrigerate this till you prepare the faluda. Now it's best you prepare the rose milk and nicely chill it. And so when you make the faluda, it will be nice and cool. Next, I'm going to cook some save for the faluda. To the pot, add a little water. So the water has come to a boil. Just going to add the save. 
I've taken the long safe, just broken it. Turn off the stove after a minute. So the save is cooked beautifully, it's perfect. Strain it and keep it aside. Next, I'm going to soak some sabja seeds to the bowl. Add a few sabja seeds, pour enough water. Soak the sabja seeds for about five minutes. So you can see after five minutes, they've plumped up beautifully. Keep it aside. Now I'm going to assemble the royal faluda. For this, I've taken two tall glasses. I'm going to start with the strawberry jelly. Next, I'm going to add the cooked safe. Next, add a little bit of the rose syrup. Next, I'm going to add the sabja seeds. Next, I'm going to add the chilled rose milk. Next, I'm going to add one scoop of vanilla ice cream. Now, for the ice cream, you can use any flavor of your choice. Next, I'm going to add some chopped nuts, some almonds and pistachios. I'm also going to add some fresh fruits, small pieces of apple and banana. Now, you can use any fruits of your choice. Adding fruits is also optional. Now, I'm going to layer it with another scoop of jelly. Next, I'm going to add another teaspoon of sabja seeds. I'm adding a one scoop of vanilla ice cream. Just adding a little syrup. Finally, add some chopped nuts. I'm also going to add some tutti frutti. So now you've seen how to make rose syrup at home and you can also use this syrup for other desserts and not only just for the royal faluda. But this is a wonderful dessert that you must try. So do try these recipes, enjoy and share the recipes with your family and friends.